Hello and welcome to the Rook's Nest. It's Alex and I'm here with a quick tip tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make your own Studio HDRIs using Redshift, just like the one I used to like the animation on screen now. Not only did it end up looking great, but it also halved the render time of my scene. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. So here's my scene I'm going to be creating this HDRI from. As you can see, it's just a simple Studio-esque setup with five area lights and a psych at the back, which is just created from a spline put into extrude along the X axis. And in order to capture this lighting setup as a HDRI, we're going to be placing a spherical camera from the perspective of the object or in the center of the scene. So let's create this camera we're going to be using to create our HDRI. So come up here to Redshift, Camera, and then select the spherical, and load, drop that in. It's not quite in the right place at the moment, so we need to move it to the center of our scene. We do that by dropping it under the bottle, or as a child object of the bottle, then coming over and clicking this PSR button, just to reset the values to 0, 0, 0, so it's exactly in the center of that object. I'm just taking it out of the bottle hierarchy and putting it at the top of our scene. Now let's make it our active camera, and put our render viewer in IPR mode. Oh, and unlock our camera view. We'll start seeing what our spherical camera is seeing. And at the moment, it's looking at the world from inside the bottle. So we should start by disabling the bottle and any other objects we don't want to see in our HDRI. Like this background plane, for example. This is also a good time to check that all our area lights under their general setting tab have the visibility toggle toggled on. If this isn't on, you won't see the lights in the render. And if they don't come out in your HDRI render, they won't be there to light the scene when you use the HDRI. As you can see, if I disable this here, the light disappears. If I turn it back on, the light will reappear. Now let's set our render resolution to a suitable resolution for a HDRI. You can really use any 2 by one resolution you like, but I'm just going to do it 8K, which is 8192 by 4096. I've also just noticed that I've left one thing on my scene that I don't want to render, and also that my scene is missing one other object. So I'm going to turn off my shadow capture plane there, but I'm also missing my psych at the back, as you can see. So I'm going to enable this, and the reason this is disabled is because I didn't want it showing up in my other render my final so I made it a matte background so we'll turn that off and then we'll go back into display and just turn off turn back on the for reflections and now we're ready to do the final render uh, the quick and easiest way is just to click here on the render button and then once it's finished go to file and save your image as an EXR make sure it's an EXR that should be a 32-bit EXR name it save it and there you go you've got your hdri i'll also show you my render settings i've got set up here for this hdri um i'll go into this word overrides okay so we only need uh we don't need reflection reflection we don't need reflection or refraction we just want ambient occlusion and light uh you may see my light samples are quite high at 2048 but my ambient occlusion is relatively low in comparison uh, the samples are at 16, min samples for the unified is 16 and max is 256. With the GI I'm using a brute force primary with 128 samples. And then a radiance point cloud as my secondary. Uh, I've increased the resolution of the radiance point cloud to 8 uh, from 16 just to get a cleaner result. Because obviously the lower the number of this is, the higher resolution your um, irradiance point cloud will be seems a bit misleading but it's yeah that's how many pixel radius is it samples so the smaller radius does more detail essentially also if you'd like to export this using the picture viewer uh, we're going to use the AOVs so we just need a beauty pass that's all we need and we just need to set it to direct and then within the settings all we need to make sure is that you're using EXR and it's in 32 bits so open EXR, 32 bits, save it wherever you like. So that's just make sure it's an EXR, open EXR, and it's 32 bits. So once you've hit render, it's all finished and saved out, you should get something that looks along the lines 
of this. Now let's take this EXR, turn off all the lights in our scene and see what we get. Right, let's start by re-enabling all the stuff I've disabled. So let's get that bottle back. Uh, ooh, let's change the resolution back to the square, 1080, like so. Now let's disable all those lights. So no more lights. And turn back on our dome light and load in. Not that. We want our HDRI we just made, which is where is it? Studio underscore one. Now we need to I need to turn this back to white because I had it on black. And there we go, look, it's already lit our scene. Let's just introduce all the other stuff we've turned off. So let's disable this psych. Override, yeah. There we go. Oh, we also need to get it out of the reflections. Come down here, don't want it. Oh, refraction, sorry. Don't want that in there. There we go. And let's turn on our shadow catcher. Oh, and another quick thing I forgot to mention. When I imported my HDRI into my dome light, uh, it wasn't orientated correctly. So I had to rotate my dome light by 90 degrees on the heading. And there we have it. I'll just now render off two versions so you can compare them both side by side. I'll render the original Just Area Lights version and the new Just HDRI version. So here they are, right next to each other. As you can see, there is a slight difference between the two. I personally prefer the HDRI version, but the biggest difference is that render time. The HDRI version rendered almost twice as fast. I can also now take this HDRI and apply it to other scenes. I hope this has inspired you to go off and make your own HDRI library. If it has, please subscribe, like the video and leave a comment. Also, this HDRI and project file will be available on our Patreon, so you want to check that out. Uh, the link is in the description. And that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching.